Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm making a Reese's No Bake Peanut Butter Cup Cheesecake. I'm very excited to share this recipe with you guys because this cheesecake is actually for my husband's really good friend. I've been trying to bake for him for well over a year, but he tells me he doesn't really eat sugar, but he finally made a request. And he requested a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cheesecake. I decided to do a no-bake cheesecake because honestly, it's so easy and this recipe is foolproof and I just really think that you guys are gonna like it. So to get started, we are going to prepare the crust. So our cheesecake crust is really simple. It is 35 crushed Oreos, or really just like an entire thing of Oreos. You can use the food processor or you can do it like me, and I put them in a bag and I crush them with a rolling pin. And six tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm just gonna start by mixing my cookie crumbs and my melted butter together. And you could use graham cracker crumbs or honestly really any cookie crumbs that you'd like. Um, but I thought the Oreo would be nice because it would give more of a chocolate flavor to complement the peanut butter. And here I have my nine inch springform pan and I have completely buttered this whole thing because I want the cheesecake to come out easily whenever we're finally done with it. So I'm just gonna pat down this cookie crust and I really wanna pack this in there. Um, the tighter the um, crust is, the less likely it is to fall apart when we're cutting into it. And I'm gonna stick this into the freezer while I prepare the filling. So we have half a cup of cold whipping cream, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, half a cup of sour cream, two blocks of cream cheese or 16 ounces, one cup of powdered sugar, one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter, so almost a full jar, and one cup of chopped up Reese's peanut butter cups. So the first step of this is we're going to beat our heavy whipping cream. We're basically gonna make whipped cream. So we're gonna beat this until it's stiff peaks. So this is gonna be like three or four minutes. And as I'm beating this, I am gonna add my two teaspoons of sugar. Have our whipped cream looking great and we're gonna set this aside for later so that took about three minutes in total so now I'm gonna add my cream cheese and the peanut butter and we're just gonna whip this together next we're gonna add in the sour cream and our powdered sugar. We're gonna tell our friend though there's no sugar in here. We're just gonna pretend. And now we're gonna take our whipped cream and carefully fold it in. We don't wanna mix this with the mixer because we don't wanna lose the volume of the whipped cream. Like we don't wanna like deflate it. So I'm just taking a rubber spatula and I'm folding this in. And lastly for our filling, we're going to fold in our peanut butter cups. It's the best part. So I've gotten my crust out of the freezer. It's been in there for maybe 20 minutes or so. And I'm just gonna pour this filling into our crust. I'm just gonna smooth this out. So now that my filling is in my springform pan, the next part is really important. We need this to set, and it needs to go in the fridge for at least four hours, but you could actually leave it up to two days. So I'm probably gonna leave this overnight and finish this tomorrow, um, but the important thing is it just really needs that time to firm up so that it will keep its shape. 
So for the topping, we have one cup of warm, heavy cream that I warmed up in the microwave. We have one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we have some Reese's peanut butter cups that we're gonna chop up for garnish. So our cheesecake's been in the fridge for quite a while, so it's ready to make the ganache topping that we're going to cover the entire filling with. So I have my chocolate chips and I have my warm, heavy cream. And this I warmed up in the microwave for about one minute. And I'm just going to pour this over my chocolate chips. And this is a one to one ratio. So one cup chocolate chips, one cup heavy whipping cream. And we want this to sit um, for a couple minutes before we start stirring it. So this has been sitting for maybe five minutes and I'm just going to stir this until it's smooth. So it's gonna feel like it's not coming together, but it totally will. And now that this is nice and smooth, I'm gonna let it sit for another 10 or 15 minutes before I pour it onto our cheesecake. So my ganache has been sitting for about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm just gonna put it on my set cheesecake and smooth it out. And now I'm just gonna start placing some of my Reese's onto the cheesecake. So this is gonna go back into the fridge for at least an hour so that my ganache will set. And then from there, we are able to open our pan and cut our cheesecake. All right, so I'm back and my cheesecake is out of the fridge and I ended up letting mine set overnight because the longer that it chills, the firmer that it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna pop this out of my springform pan and we're gonna see how it turned out. All right, so this cheesecake could not look any better. I mean, seriously, anything with chocolate and peanut butter is guaranteed to be like absolutely delicious. So I hope that you guys enjoyed learning this really easy, super simple, no-bake cheesecake recipe, and I definitely hope that you try it. And if you did like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.